nanotechnology to fight cancer could lead to a revolution in the way tumors are treated, partly thanks to a new drug delivery technology being developed by the Sonodrugs project, coordinated by researchers at Dutch medical technology company Philips. We try to optimize cancer therapies by making sure that the drug only acts at the disease site and not on the rest of the body, so thereby minimizing side effects and increasing the efficacy of the treatment. So what we do is that we encapsulate the drug into nanoparticles. When, as long as it's encapsulated in a nanoparticle, it circulates throughout the body, it does not have an effect, so no side effects. At the disease site, we trigger the nanoparticle by ultrasound. At the moment in chemotherapy, when toxic cancer drugs are injected into a patient, they damage healthy tissue as well as the tumor. In some cancers, that effect could be greatly reduced by technology developed by the four-year EU-funded Sonodrugs project. In the future, the drugs could be delivered just to the tumor cells using microscopic vehicles called liposomes. These liposomes are tiny nanoparticles that can be loaded with drugs. And here we have an extruder where we make these liposomes all with the same size. At their laboratory in Eindhoven, researchers use a magnetic resonance imaging device to locate the tumor. Then they use high-frequency sound waves to heat it to 42 degrees Celsius. The liposomes are stable at 37 degrees, but melt at 42 degrees. As a consequence, they only release the toxic cancer drugs on direct contact with the warmer tumor. The EMR scanner localizes our tumor. We heat locally our tumor using an ultrasound. We inject these liposomes which contain the drug. They circulate through the body, but they are stable at 37 degrees. They reach this area where we have hyperthermia, 42 degrees. They release their content and the drug, as well as the contrast agent, is entering the tissue. As well as limiting the unpleasant side effects of chemotherapy, laboratory tests have shown that one single treatment could slow a tumor's growth by three times. The project finished in 2012 and won the Euro Nanotech Award in 2013 for its work. Now researchers at Philips are continuing to develop the technology and are looking at whether it could be tested on humans.